everyone, it's Shalia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. By now you've probably all caught the here and there fish or at the very least heard of it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how, where, and when you can catch this elusive fish for those of you who are new. And then I'll show you the best ways to cook with it to ultimately share which recipe will earn you the most star coins and which meal you may just wanna eat. Let's get started. If you're new to Disney Dreamlight Valley and you haven't already unlocked the here and there fish, you will first need to complete Nala's Friendship Level 10 quest, here, there, and back again. During this quest, you will need to place small Nala statues in three different locations around the valley near water, specifically near the water in Dazzle Beach, Frosted Heights, and the Glade of Trust where the glowing light beams are in the water. I mention this quest because the statues are really cute, and you all know I love cute things. That one was for you, Owen. <laughs> and it's the most important part of her quest line. Once each statue is placed and you get the prompt to catch a here and there fish to give to Remy, you can fish out as many as you want as long as it's during the right time, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But keep in mind, you will need to give a here and there fish to Remy to unlock the lioness feast to make and give to Nala to finish out the quest, and also to start making star coins and gaining energy recipes. On a side note, once you complete this quest, the statues are yours to do whatever you want with them. And I'm so glad about that because they are really cute. Did I mention that before? Since I wanted to focus mainly on the benefits these fish provide, stemming from financial to stamina benefits, and the fact that most of you probably already have unlocked this ugly fish, I decided not to do a full walkthrough of the here and there and back again quest. If you are new and need help with it, please hit me up in the comments or join my Discord and I'll do my best to help you out. So far, I've shown you how to get the here and there fish. Now let's talk about when and where to find this cute, cuddly fish. They are supposedly active between the hours of 6 and 10, both in the morning and in the evening in every waterway in the valley. However, in my valley, this fish is available between 4 and 8 instead of 6 and 10 because back in the early days of Dreamlight Valley, I was still playing Animal Crossing on my Switch and I may have time traveled just a little bit. I mention this because if any of you have time traveled in the past and your game never fixed itself and you're having issues finding the here and there fish, try looking for them a little earlier in the morning or evening. I guess it's also possible Possible they could show up a little later as well. Now that you know when and where to fish for these extremely attractive fish, go grab your highest friendship level, preferably level 10 fishing buddy, and start fishing where there are no ripples. This is very important because the ripples will not give you a here and there fish. It's similar to how you fish for seaweed or basic fish like bass. I generally fish for mine off of Dazzle Beach near Skull Rock because I have a lot of room on the beach to leave whatever my buddy catches just lay there until I'm ready to grab them. I also just fish in the same general area as it's just easier for me. So it's all about preference where you fish. But I have found that it doesn't matter if you move or you just stay in the same place. You don't seem to get any more or less. I suggest being well fed only because you can fish longer at one time. But I haven't been able to prove or disprove that being well fed helps you catch more or less here and there fish. However, when you are well fed, you're supposed to have more chances of getting the multiple fish fly out of the water at one time. But I really haven't noticed that it makes too much of a difference since the multiple fish bonus is already programmed into the basic functionality of the game. Something to note though, sometimes, and this is this very well could be a glitch, when you fish out basic fish or seaweed, you could still get a bunch of here and there fish that fly out as well. So make sure you're checking what flies out of the water even if you didn't just catch the here and there fish. And again, this could just totally be a glitch that will be patched out in the next hot fix. But who knows? All right, enough about the basics of this gorgeous fish. Let's talk about a couple really good recipes and compare them to see which one is really the money maker and which one gives you the most energy. In about 15 to 20 minutes of fishing and grabbing everything your buddy throws out, you can catch or get approximately 10 to 15 here and there fish. You can potentially get 20 to 30 of these if you're lucky enough to get the multiple flying fish bonus. Each here and there fish without cooking them in a recipe sells for 2,000 star coins. And if you eat these delicious looking raw fish, they will give you 1,000 energy. So if you sell just 20 raw fish, you will get a whopping $40,000 profit just by spending 15 to 20 minutes fishing a day. If you fish the whole four hour period, assuming you find 10, I'm using a conservative number here, every 20 minutes, you would have 120 here and there fish, which equates to a $240,000 profit. Ultimately, using this method of selling the fish, if you were really dedicated and fished the whole eight hours they are available to you each day, you could earn up to a half a million 
start coins each day. Just saying. Of course, this process isn't really practical for the average player, so let's talk about a couple recipes that can give you way more than this in a lot less time. The first recipe is the obvious one. It's the lioness feast that you learned how to make in Nala's level 10 quest. With this recipe, you'll need to source other ingredients like tomatoes that you need to grow, garlic that you'll need to harvest in the plaza with a buddy, of course, and mushrooms from the Glade of Trust, again with a buddy, or by watering the large mushrooms that randomly grow around the valley. This recipe will give you 2,368 energy, and this meal sells for 3,153 star coins. All the ingredients are basically free except for the tomatoes, which you can buy a goofy stall on Dazzle Beach for $8 a seed, and they do produce three tomatoes each. So once we deduct our cost to make this recipe, which is approximately $2.67 for a tomato, and we round that up to $3 per meal, your net profit, if you sell 20 of these meals, is $63,000. Pretty nice, right? Now here comes the controversial recipe, which I personally think is not as good as making the lioness feast, but you be the judge. I'm calling this one the special grilled fish entree because when you make this recipe with four here and there fish and one pumpkin, you can sell this meal for $9,463 or star coin, and it will give you 5,000 energy, which is the best in the game. With a cost of $275 for a pumpkin seed to make, your profit is 9,188 star coin per meal, and selling just five of these meals will net you $45,940 profit. Yes, selling only five of these meals makes you a fantastic profit. However, when you consider this meal takes four here and there fish to make, and the lioness feast only takes one fish, you'll actually make more money by selling the lioness feast and possibly getting more energy, but I'll talk about that a little later. Let me break this down for you. The special grilled fish entree actually nets you a profit of 9188 per meal, but it takes four here and there fish to do it. The lioness feast meal nets 3150 per meal, but it only takes one here and there fish to make that happen. So with the same four fish, you could have made the lioness feast four times and sold them for a net profit of 12600 rather than making one special fish entree and netting a profit of only 9188 And yes, the lion feast takes a little bit more effort to make because you have to harvest more ingredients for it. But in the long run, if your goal is to make money fast in the game, the lioness feast just makes more sense. Now, if you are only catching these fish for the energy they provide, I still recommend the lioness feast because it provides 2368 energy and you only need two here and there fish to almost reach the 5000 that the special grilled fish entree gives you using four here and there fish. So it only takes half the fish to give you the energy. Ultimately, it's your choice if you want to sell the slimy fish straight out, cook one of the two meals I provided in this video, or just eat it for energy. Either way, it's pretty much free money and energy. So at the end of the day, it's all about how you want to play your game. My preference is to make the lioness feast and earn the most star coins I can and harvest my pumpkin patch with my buddy and sell them straight out, or I might make pumpkin puffs depending on my mood. Tell me what your favorite way is to make star coins. It doesn't have to have anything to do with the here and there fish. Just let me know in the comments and also let me know what your favorite way of getting energy is as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up and if you feel inclined to do so, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join our little Dreamlight Valley family. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!